Hello all, it's Melinda. Today is day one of load, which means layout a day. The prompt today is to use a product on your layout that creates a special effect. My thought is, is that I'm going to use this picture of my daughter. She turns 10 today and for her birthday gift, she wanted pink hair. So mom got her hair pink. So I'm going to use pink paper and I'm going to try this little effect that I'm not going to tell anyone about because I'm not thinking that it might turn out. So you can see either the failure or the success of my thought. So I'm going to put you on fast forward and let you watch the magic. I'm going to cut the background paper into two inch strips and then into two inch squares and I'm going to keep them in order because I want the ombre effect to still be there and I want them to match up to the matching paper that I'm going to use. This paper is Echo Park Ombre Essentials. I'm going to lay these down to match the background paper and cut them into a triangle, only using half the triangle. I'm going to show you the first row and then I'm going to fast forward to the finished one because this takes a while. And I'm just laying there so I'm cut, cut them in the diagonal the correct direction and they almost disappear. And for most of the layout, it's going to look like this, look like they just disappeared. But I'm going to pop them up onto foam squares on the edges. I'm going to take my glue gun and just run down the center of the triangle, nowhere else. That is so that I can lift the edges up, almost creating almost like wings. It just gives the page a lot of dimension and shadow. But like I said, they're going to stay like this for a while. Here's the last one put in place. Now you can tell that they are there. And this would be a cool effect too, even if you left it like this. This just creates texture. And it's just basically laying the exact same paper over the paper. See, when I do that, you can see how it sticks up. I'm going to put some tissue paper. My, my daughter gave me these tissue papers out of things that she's been saving from her Victoria's Secret bags that she buys. Um, so we will see. And that's my 18 year old daughter, not my 10 year old daughter. I'm going to do my technique where I just stick one side down to the photo, stick the other side down and then wrinkle that all up. Now she had the, her the tissue paper folded. So it, I had to basically ruffle it to actually get it to lay not in, and not in the folds that she had them in. I'm just going to put some washi tape on the back side just to hold the folds. I'm going to trim it up. I just wanted a little hint of it because there's lots of pink on this page. And then these are butterflies from the One, one Canoe Two collection from American Crafts for the Globe Gallery. I have two pink but I want to use an odd number. So the only other option is black. So I'm going to end up having to put some black on here. This is just foam tape or foam sheets, self-adhesive to pop that up a little bit, give it some dimension. These are Heidi Swap puffy stickers. And I bought them just the other day while at Michael's because of the hot pink 10. I'm going to pull off some other ones. I don't end up using all of them that I pull off, but I wanted to have them ready. Now, because of those black butterflies, I need to add more black. So I'm going to go get some tissue paper. So I'm going to take this musical tissue paper because it reminded me of my daughter and the way she's posed. She was exuberant about her birthday. Turning 10 is a big deal. I, this one is a scalloped 
tissue paper. So I left the scallops on each end, but cut it off the top and the bottom. I'm just going to put a couple sheets of stickers of, or pieces of washi tape, sorry. More foam. The foam likes to cup a little bit. Now, I know I want I want a tag, and this hot pink tag really drew me in, but it's not going to work for what I want. So I go through my stash, and I find this white tag with gold hello on it. So then I'm thinking I need to add gold to this for sure. So my title is going to be Hello Beautiful 10. That's the start of my title. This one has a long title. And because of the long title, I really don't need the journaling. This is what I was thinking is that I needed some more. The pink was going to be too close to the color of the pink. The pink on the 10, too close to the color on the paper. So i thinking I need another tag. I'm going to sprinkle gold in a diagonal. I'm going to do it quite heavily. And I'm going to dry it because I don't want to soak it up. When I soak it up, it takes away some of the, the gold. As I'm doing this, the heat gun is actually making the triangles curl up a little bit. Now, I, these butterflies, I move around before I, I get them in their final spot. I'm a little too quick on trying to put them down. I just don't want to forget to add them. I sometimes do that. I get going and then I forget I want to add something and it stays on my table. Yeah, I just move them around a little bit. I'm going to hear that down. I'm going to commit to that being right there. It's a little bit loosey-goosey because of the well, uh, paper that I have underneath of it, the tissue paper, but it'll be okay. Now, this sticker says beautiful. It's a light pink, and it just says beautiful. So the start of my title is Hello Beautiful 10. I need to put some twine in there. This is leather from Michael's. Got a multi-pack of little leather strips. It's kind of tough to put into a bow. It's stiff and wants to have its own shape. So I tied it a couple times to get it the way I wanted it. I'm going to cut the tails off. That looks better. I'm going to string some gold thread, just wrap it around. Now in hindsight, the top one is fine. The one I put on the bottom gets in a bit of way of my small tile litter stickers that I use. And I fight with it quite a bit. As I'm putting the title down, it wants to stick to all the letters and the letters not stick to the paper. So I should have waited. Now I'm going to write the rest of my title out so I don't miss any letters. And the rest of my title is I've been waiting all my life for double digits. Now this is basically a quote from my daughter. She's quite dramatic. I'm only going to let you see a little bit of this in, in the, at this speed because this takes me a while. So there's the whole title. I was thinking I needed, I needed to pull that up, but it's too stuck down. So yeah, there's the last words of it, double digits. I'm going to get the tag stuck down, a little bit too much adhesive. Because of the string, the thread, I need to glue the head 10 down because it wasn't sticking anymore. And that's going to be the same problem I'm going to have with the letter stickers. And I won't make you watch all that because that was pretty painful. I'm just going to put the last little bit down. I'm going to, I am having to use my um, Tombow Mono multi glue that I have in my fine line bottle to 
to keep these stuck down. It dries clear, so, so I can see a little bit of white here and there on there, but it, it's fine. Now I'm finally going to get all these butterflies down. Oh, the eye. The dot, the eye. Those little dots are crazy. They don't like to stick. Doesn't help that I had glue on my fingers, so they were sticking to my fingers more than they were sticking to the paper. Now I'm going to try this. Oh, that, I, I think, oh, that's too much. That was a quick decision. No more. Done. I'm going to put them back. They'll go on another layout. Now this is where I'm going to use foam tape by Scott's and just cut it into little itty bitty squares. And I'm only going to peel one side, only leave one side stuck, and that's going to be stuck to the actual triangles, not the background paper, so they can kind of move around. I find that when I stick them down permanently, things like, like, like this that I want to float around, um, things can get ripped. Now, I obviously can't pick up every one of these because I've stuck things down, like around the title, and I need that to be flat so the letter stickers stay down. But I try to pick up even the smallest one, and I'm putting the sticker really close to the glue line so that they stand up more. Now, they're going to crush down when I put them in a page protector, and I'm okay with that. The foam will help keep them up enough to keep the effect going. Now some of them, because they were had things on the top of them, I couldn't put them all the way under, so they only lifted a little bit, but that's okay. And I just love how the effect is just completely changing. As I move the page around. And they're just little itty bitty pieces of foam tape. Nothing too big. That picture moves a lot. That's kind of crazy. Now the ones around these letters right here are a little bit iffy. It kind of pops some of them up, but I think it'll be fine. I had to make sure that nothing was going to fall off. I flip it over and on the back I write layout 67 of 2017, load 517, day one, and the date. I went ahead and thought I needed to put more sprinkles on. And then I made a, a smoosh on the photo. And it probably would have been fine if I'd left it, but I wiped it. So I needed to add something to cover the smoosh. This is just a flare badge that I got from a flare for buttons off Etsy and I'm going to put a part of a paper clip it ends up being just like a little banner piece from a paper clip underneath there for the gold it didn't need it but because of my mistake I had to add it so and because I added that I also added that little heart sticker at the top and here's some close-ups if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Thanks. Bye.